Welcome back to JSA TV, everyone. We are coming to you live from the expo floor of Yada 2024. And I've grabbed Andrew Lindsay from Flexnode off of the floor to come and chat with us. Thank you so much for stopping by today. Thank you for having me, Keely. And we were just ch chatting about how wonderful the show has been so far. Glad you're here to hear that you're having a very positive experience so far. It's been really engaging. I'm I'm really impressed with what they've done here. You know, the cross-market engagement is, is something to be seen. Absolutely. I'm sure you've heard a little bit about AI here so far at, at the show. Um, so let's talk about that for just a moment with regards to Flexnode. So how how has Flexnode been adapting to meet AI deployments and the needs of your customers? Yeah, no, definitely. So Flexnode as really a modular building platform designed for AI deployments, you know, what we were focused on was not just developing this new platform, but actually creating a new way to configure, expand, and scale our platform over time. So it was a big part of us actually looking at a ground up way of, of designing, building, manufacturing, and deploying our data centers. Yeah. So we should back up here for just a moment. You just gave us a hint at this, but for those who might not be familiar with Flexnode, can you give us just a little background on what you do and how you help your customers? Of course, for sure. So we, uh, we're a data center designer, builder, owner, operator. So we have a fully integrated building platform that really allows for us to support future ready workloads. Um, we centered our efforts early on on liquid cooled data centers um, and really looking at a way that we could rapidly configure them to support our customers. And so now what we're doing is, is deploying utility scale infrastructure, um, which is pretty exciting. We're looking to do some nationwide work, uh, which would be pretty fun. Okay, a lot more to come on that. Absolutely. Sounds like, okay. Um, let's talk about sustainability. We're also hearing a lot about sustainability as we're here at Yada. So how have you guys been incorporating sustainability into the needs of what you're building and, and offering out to your clients? It's a really great question. And I think with everybody being much more cognizant of what data centers are and the impacts that data centers can have, be it energy, water consumption, and so forth, you know, what we've done is focus on where we build, how we build, and how we operate. With where we build, we really look to go to where there's stranded infrastructure, where it, it's less of a burden on the utilities and the power companies to expand their presence to support our work. Uh, beyond that, though, how we build, we look to do uh, a lot of advanced uh, uh, design and build processes that go right into our manufacturing, a direct to manufacturing, if you will, which really then allows us to reduce the material waste and rework that we typically see in the data center build process. Um, it's just inevitable because the construction industry is so far behind. And then finally, how we operate, beyond the fact that we leverage liquid cooling in every capability that we can, we also leverage digital twins to monitor and manage the performance of our data centers, which allows us to fluctuate based off the demands of the customer, rather than just having a flat line and overusing or underusing. It's incredible work that's going on. We're, it we've been, it's, it's been exciting to watch your journey and we definitely look forward to continuing to watch it. How, it. how is the edge coming into play and how are you scaling for you know the AI needs at the edge and the IoT needs that are out there kind of on? It's a really great question. Um, so for us, you know, as part of going to where there's existing power, both indoors and outdoors, um, we want to be a, a ubiquitous level infrastructure and in, in, in so doing, working directly with the power companies, both on the distribution side and the generation side, to identify where there's untapped power and be able to rapidly deploy for customers that I think are getting into a market they never expected to get into, with these edge users actually deploying data centers of their own, be it for the level of control, governance, even the speed at which these, these applications require to perform. Yeah, the, the power piece is, is absolutely huge. We're just hearing more and more of that in markets all across the country. It's incredible. There's there's certainly a scarcity right now, um, and the supply chain backlog for just the sheer amount of work that's happening is incredible to see. Yeah, absolutely. So we definitely need people like you out there helping to bring these solutions to the table uh, at the edge and everywhere else. I appreciate it. So before we let you go, let's talk real quickly about um, sustainability again, as, as we've heard we're talking a lot about that here at Yada. Is there any big innovation or anything coming onto the market that you see as really being a big game changer? Absolutely. Um, you know, I think there's two things that we're seeing in full view. The first thing is that because of this shift away from, and I wouldn't say this is immediate, but it will be gradual over this next, say, five years, shift away from training over to more inferential AI workloads, 
what we're also going to see is a push toward a more distributed infrastructure model where I think the go-to today is, is bigger is better. Um, and, and I think there's a, a degree of, of growth that we're seeing where it won't really allow for us to just do bigger is better. There will also be the smaller distributed deployments. The second thing really is on the distributed generation part. Right, I think very few people recognize that power generation started off as distributed and then it aggregated to support sort of how we operate with the grid today. And now we're going back to a distributed generation model. <clears throat> and that will really, I think, fall anywhere between, you know, the wind and solar sustainable generation, also including a lot of work in hydrogen. And now we're seeing a lot of talk in nuclear, which is pretty incredible. Yeah, it's it's definitely interesting to sit back and watch some of it unfold. But yeah, it's it's all going to start working together is what we're hearing as well. Totally, totally. So, OK, anything else that you're excited about before we let you get out of here? Um, I'm just really excited about the momentum and, in, and innovation going on in the industry. Now we have even tasks for task forces that are coming out from the White House to push data centers, especially AI ready data centers and the DOE really coming up with some innovative ways to, to tackle our next generation workloads. A lot of eyeballs are definitely on the digital infrastructure industry, uh, and it's it's been exciting as you and I were just chatting about before we went live here to be a part of it and just to watch it explode and grow up. Absolutely. All right. Well, thank you so much, Andrew, for stopping by, and we look forward to having you back on JSA TV again soon. Thanks a lot, Keely. All right. Thanks to our viewers for tuning in. Stick around. Plenty more to come here from Yada 2024. In the meantime, stay curious and stay connected, everyone.